Hello, in this video I would like to show you how to upgrade from uh, CC, single lamp CCFL backlight lamp to our XB series LED kits to this 12.1 inch industrial display. Uh, this screen is made by Torescent, which is owned by Sanyang before. Uh, the part number is MS S121022010. Okay, uh, this one's a single lamp and using um, a lot of uh, it's really popular. You can find the screen, you know, in POS or industrial display. This is so all our LED kit comes with a uh, aluminum foil. But for this single lamp screen, I would suggest that you also purchase an additional a um, 54 series uh, heatsink. Um, so because this is a plastic film, so we can tape on the back of it and make sure that uh, to be sure that you know, the light from LED switch much faster. Uh, that's anyway. That's our suggestion. Okay, first we're gonna remove the old backlight lamp. It's quite easy. First, two, one, two, two lamps. I mean, I mean, two screws need to be removed. All right. Okay, okay take it out. One. Second one. So we need to uh, remove this plastic. Um, you can either use the blade to cut off this plastic and here, or you can just peel it out. Either way. So I would like to try to peel it out, see what happens. But sometimes it's difficult. Alright. You can reuse it if you want to. Um, you know, it's. Uh, or you can just add the new tape there. You know, I, uh, it's really up to you. In this case, we're gonna reuse it, so I'm gonna save it, save that aside and save it here, okay? And then we're gonna cut this, separate, use a blade to cut it off between the metal frame and the plastic. So we're gonna slice it over, slice over, slice over. Okay, so we're gonna take. Okay. Slice it. Okay. Take it out. Take it out. Oh, so stupid. Like this. Oh, this click. You just. Okay. Click. You just. There we go. There you go. Okay, there's a clip. You can just use a small fat head, just push it. Push it. Take it out. Get your hand between and push it downward. Okay. It's a little bit tricky, but can take it out. Alright. I guess we can have a last one here covered by tape, so I still have to between okay this one is covered by tip so I need to tip this one out to see what happened okay now I can see better okay oops okay. all right almost out Oh, just this thing is... Ooh, huh? There we go. Alright, it's out. The back, flick over this shit. You see the back light lamps right there. Okay, take it out. So we're gonna mount, since this shit is still good, we're gonna reuse it. Uh, what we do is that we're gonna mount the light here on the edge. No, I'm not gonna use this one because we we'll create some trouble. Just use a blade to cut it off here. All right, that's much better because when we mount it, it's much better. Make sure it's clean. All right. 
Now, before we, here's what we're going to mount it back. We're going to mount it back right there on the bottom. Just like this. When you mount it, try to push a little bit downward to avoid the, the bright, bright darks on the edge of the screen. And then you're going to add one more alum foil. Um, I mean, uh, UB50 series uh, heat sink. So make sure this the sheet paper right. So you know, do the alignment. Make sure it's everything's clean. And okay, let's do it. Well, before we do it, we're gonna test the LED first, as we always do. Make sure all LED light lights up. Oops, just I have to slow it down a little bit here. Yeah. All right. Okay. So LED lights up. Good. Now the next step. We need to peel off this double side tip cover. Yep. Peel it off. Peel it off this last thing. Okay. Alright, so I'll do the alignment. Just make sure we put it in the center. Alright, move. Be sure to push downward, okay? Lie up as a downward that way. Well, all right, it looks good. Now, you can either put back the plastic or you don't need to put back the plastic. But usually, I don't want to put back the plastic because the reason that we're going to add one more hissing here. And then we're gonna wrap it up with this aluminum foil. So here's what I usually do. I'm not gonna use that plastic because otherwise it's not gonna fit because I add one more of this few 54 series uh, hissing. So just get it on the top, on the bottom. That's it. Okay, now we're gonna do wrap it up with the uh, aluminum foil. So it's not that difficult, but you just be careful when you peel off these covers. Alright, we're gonna tape it on the edge. Okay. Now we're gonna wrap it up like this. If you want to, you can uh, purchase additional uh, aluminum foil and uh, add one more. But that, for now, that would be just bend this thing a little bit like this. It's done. It's that simple. Thank you very much.